What's going on, everybody? This is TWE Shell Shocker, and we are going to look at an amazing tutorial on how to use this track spacer for Reason 10 or Reason Studios. I know Jellies is out there. I hope I'm not messing up your name, sister, but you've made an amazing uh, tutorial on how to use it in Reason, so you are the first one. But however, I think we need more Reason users on how to use this plugin. It is quite amazing. I spent about almost $60 for it. And man, it's one hell of an investment. But instead of using it for trap music, it's used basically almost in the same application. I have not seen a Reason producer create JIT music, Detroit JIT music uh, for this using this plugin. It's the same, but basically it's like an EQ ducker combined with sidechain capabilities. However, not only is it very low on DSP on the computer, it's very, very transparent and it's very good at what it does. So I'm going to play a snippet of this incomplete JIT track, new JIT track that I'm creating for, I'm not going to say, it's for a project, but it's created by yours truly. Okay, you basically get the idea, not the rest of the tracks is played, but this is like, uh, we hear Baltimore club music, but this is really showing your skills on that footwork. And I like dance type of music like that. However, that background pad is a little too strong behind the arpeggio. So what I need to do is click on the background pad. I'm gonna drag this uh, track spacer in, right? I'm going to double click on it so that you can see it. Oops. I got to bring you back. Now it's not playing anything because I need it to punch through something. It needs two sounds to work. The sound that I'm using is the pad and I need it to hide behind this arpeggio sound. And that's why I color coordinated it so that I know what I'm trying to affect. Hit the tab key, flip it around. The CV programmer is where the magic begins. On channel three and four, the left and right channel, just click and drag it down to the parallel channel of the sound you are trying to affect. So I have channel three, the left side. I'm surprised it didn't get the both sides, but nevertheless, connect them both into the parallel channel. So now if we play this sound, let's see what happens. You notice the arpeggio sound is the top sound. And every time that arpeggio sound was just playing, it's ducking the pad. However, I think it's a little too harsh on the duck. So if you click on this little circle right here, here are the advanced panels, how fast we want it to work, kind of like compression. So I want it to work a little bit faster. How much of that duck do we want it to let go or come back? So the less amount of that, let's see if we just take it down a little bit. I don't want to side chain it. I just want to duck it. I already put in my parameters, so let's play it. Let's see what happens. All right. Okay. Now I just want to cut some of that low cut in there. So let me play it some more. Thank you. 
The whole, the whole idea, the whole idea is not to duck it so low, but you just want to take away and then slowly bring it back within the sound. All right, I'm going to just turn it down a little bit more. And then let's play it again. I actually like that cut right there. Nice amount of low cut of that pad and a nice amount of that high end so that some of that that high sizzle of that lead is punching through, is making it punch a little bit better. Thus, the clarity is there and is giving the groove of those people to start showing off their footwork, showing off that footwork. Let me see your footwork. Let me see your footwork. And this device is clearly letting me be able to create as opposed to trying to make a big old combinator with multiple sounds and stuff in there. I just use a track spacer for anything that's in the way. It's really dope for cutting out mud, as you've seen here. So can you imagine any other sounds that's uh, within the same frequency range? Sure, you can EQ it and cut some frequencies out. You can do that. But the track spacer is the best of both worlds, EQ and, and side chaining, and it's very transparent. One function I didn't mention was the freeze button. If I hit the play button, by hitting the freeze button, it just locks that duck or that cut in place, as you see here. And that's what's also fire about that, too. If you want it stuck there and then you could dial the numbers in to make it either more or less. So with that being said, that is how you use the track spacer inside Reason. So go ahead, try it. But you got to have VST capabilities in your Reason. Just had to put that out there. I'm out. Peace.